gonna be flaunting my success. Never knew my that success yes, Bonis. I've got a lot of haters. A lot of people hate on me. Going to Twitter, you see Thomas Moore's not funny. Who died and made? To... But I'm like, if I'm not hey, funny, bro. why am I an internationally Emmy nominated like stand-up comedian? Same with yeah, situation. if you it's don't like get you. my comedy, you don't get That's it. You're it. Just... Yeah. We sleep, my spider. Because imagine me now, I must explain your incompetence in terms of your intelligence level. Many oh, come comedy, I'm here, he's in Kuruma, I must send in the people. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Let's Leave that to us. Leave, Leave that, that to us. Leave that to us. Leave that to us. Yes, yes. Fuck. I'm one of the most hated comedians on, on Twitter, bro. But even with all that hate, I still push through, bro. Mm. When this tweet dropped, you must see. There's, there's a hashtag called I believe her. I mm, believe mm, her. Mm, oh, yeah, that was I the believe local hashtag. Mm, mm, Bro, mm. hey, Munna, that hashtag was flying. Woman attacking me left, right, and center, bro. The biggest bitch to attack me, biggest number one feminist mm. fucking bitch, mm. Rosie Mutene. Mm. Mm. Ask any nigga. Everyone. Ask any nigga mm. who tell you. She's got my sister. <laughs> What ho Yeah, from generation. Into beans at I want to cook beans. younger sister. yes. Yeah. Kaimu younger sister. Oh, shang and to Tell him. Tell them he raped. Tell them. Tell him he wants your day in court. Ask Akanya pressure go NPA. The NPA can see or no, we can't prosecute this guy. Here's everything, here's the alibis, here's everything. It shows that this man is innocent. There's nothing we can prosecute this guy on. So she said you raped the way at on the Master Chef. On this at the, the house. That house here, Master Chef. Oh, that night where she was divulging. Where she was divulging. In, Come on, in, when, would you go and rape someone who just told you she got damn raped by ten niggas? Ooh, uh, you'd be some sick fuck. to begin How do you even get an erection or be told? Turned on by someone who just told you such a traumatic story. Tell me now when. That's foul. So bro. so now obviously when now she has to go to to the police and have a statement. What was her ha! recollection of? Ah, the of, statement is legendary. Of, the statement. Was, yeah. I'm done. I know. I'm done. Actually, do not even the statement I call. You see when I do my one man show next year, I'm gonna break it down even more. Yeah. Who's the statement it's in? Tolles Mo. Uh, no no. I go into my room after drinking wine. Um, we had two or three glasses after of After telling heavy. the story. Yeah, after telling the story, whatever. I go to my room. I lie on the bed. Ne? But the way I'm lying on the bed... Okay, I'm out of here, man. The way I'm lying on the bed is like this. Leg, one leg on, another leg balancing. I'm sleeping. She says she's sleeping. <laughs> but the door is slightly open. So, what? then... So what? Passed out in that position. Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Listen, you guys, let's talk about the story that uh, was published yesterday from Zimoja talking about how Rosie Mutene is uh, suing Mark G and uh, the other uh, two presenters, Zaku, Mark G, Podcast and Chill. Okay. This is as a result of that episode that they did with Tol Esmo, okay? So they're getting sued. Now, I'm going to read the article, you guys. And um, they are saying that the uh, losses is, uh, against Mark G, so Penduga and Ghost Lady, they are not talking about, um, they are not mentioning Tol Esmo himself. Uh, I don't know why, but let's just read it. Okay, it says, uh, actress Rosa Mutene slaps Mark G with the lawsuit. This was written yesterday by Uthio Nyava for Zimocha. An episode of uh, Podcast and Chill presented my, by Mark G, real name Mark uh, and his co host, Uso Peduga, and producer known as Ghost Lady, has landed them in legal trouble. They might have to part with one million rents. As former generations, actress Rose Modena has taken action against the team for defamation. The episode featured actor, comedian, musician, and celebrity chef Tol Esmo, who is responsible for slamming Modena. But he was not served with a letter of demand. On the show, Tol Esmo, real name Mongi Zimatlang, who spoke about the RAPE allegations he faced made by the model and actress Lerato Moloi. 
The National Prosecuting Authority eventually dropped the uh, art charges uh, when there was no proof that Mashango had art Molloy. On the show, Mashango attacked Modene for supporting Molloy's uh, art accusations. When the show opened, it started with Mashango ranting against Modene and he did not hold back for uh, supporting Molloy. The biggest uh, bee to attack me, the biggest number one, hey guys, in Clamba, yeah, it's your more, I can't even repeat it, okay, is Rose Motene, okay, King Wana Satan, she's the daughter of Satan. Ask any Ega, okay, because I can't say this name, the one who has a head that looks like cool beans, she, uh, Kanya Motene's younger sister, that one, she was busy coaching Lerato on how to nail me. Guys, I'm wondering, how did uh, Tol Esmo find out that Lerato had been coached by Rose Motene? That's the part that never made any sense uh, to me. Uh, I understand if uh, she was uh, posting about it on Twitter, supporting uh, Lerato, but I'm not understanding how uh she was being accused of coaching olerato maybe there's something i'm missing here modern felt insulted degraded and defamed and has served podcast and chill with a letter of demand where she wants to be paid in the region of one million rand an apology from the podcast and for the episode to be put down from the website because the episode is still there you guys as you saw that I just played the clip from the episode. It's still there. Matlamo said the author, film producer, and activist was busy putting pressure on the NPA to prosecute me with the other like activist, uh, like Tiki Mazwai, who said they believed her art story. Called CEO of the podcast, Balatuma confirmed that they got served by Modena. The papers are, sit are sitting with our lawyers. I can't comment on that matter, he said. Modena could not be reached for comment, okay? So I guess Magji, Sol Penduga, and Ghost Lady are getting sued. But why is uh, Tol Esmo not getting sued? Okay, I wonder because he's the one that said all of those things. I understand why it will go against Magji because they were they are the ones that actually published uh, the whole episode and some things they could have edited out but they didn't. Uh, so they can be held uh, accountable and responsible for that. I'm just not understanding why Todd Esmo is left out. And remember, this interview was like a beginning of. For Tol Esmo, because remember, after this interview, he went and did um, DJ Fresh's podcast and Kashona Pant, where he started saying that uh, he hated black women. And then after that, uh, the um, rumor of him cheating on his wife started coming out. And then there were even pictures of him kissing another woman. And then, you know. You know, the, the the voice recordings that came out of his wife saying some things about the side chick and then the next thing they got back together with the wife, okay? Because then, listen, this one thing that these men will do, <laughs> they will go back to their wives, okay? After they announce that they hate black women, they will go back to their wives who are black women. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you guys, listen, I feel like Mark G... And the podcast team, they do have a million, okay? So it's not a lot for them, okay? It might be a lot for me if somebody wanted a million for me. <laughs> Listen, their numbers are low on YouTube, are making them uh, enough money, okay? Maybe they can struggle for a few months, but I'm sure they can come up with a million rents should they lose the case. In fact, maybe they shouldn't even spend on the lawyers. Just pay her the million and say, I know, we sold it, and take down the episode. <laughs> anyway you guys listen tell me what you think about this in the comment section like the video before Pumegi and I share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in a tanda cool